I basically, I'm an expert on bachelorette parties now. I basically went to 30 bachelorette parties last night. Girls at bachelorette parties behave 10 times worse than guys do on bachelor parties. Fact. And like, Loki, I can't. Bye, Jesse man. Can I have a hug? I'm going bye bye. Give me five. Give me five. Okay. See you later. Love you. Ah. <laughs> okay, give mommy hugs too. Mm -hmm. I love you. You're gonna come with me to Vegas? Bye, right, little man. <laughs> Bye, kids. Did you know that they make all pink starters? That's life, life changing. We're only uh, four hours and 57 minutes behind schedule. That's not my wife's fault. Definitely not your fault. Anyways, we go to Vegas every time this year for baseball uh, for my team, but there's some downtime at the end at nighttime. Anyways, we'll check back in Barstow. Peace. Oh, I can see parts of the strip. Yeah. Every time we come here, Christina goes to Plant Hollywood to um, the dry bar to get a blowout. Anyways, so I'm sipping Diet Coke on the way to uh, Plant Hollywood. We got a nice walk ahead of us. Diet Coke. Diet Coke. This is a this is a family channel. I am drinking Diet Coke. I also have Diet Coke in here. They probably are. Forky! The jet's gonna be fired up. Oh, oh, Paw Patrol coming. You know you're a dad on vacation when you're excited about Paw Patrol. Who? Chick-fil-A. Hey, question. Is that Chick-fil-A gonna be open on Sundays? That's a question. Um, no, we're open. Thank you. Is it? All right, big question. YouTube land. Is it? Is a Chick-fil-A that's on the strip required to be open on Sundays? I don't know. Oh, it's gonna be inside too. All right, Chick-fil-A coming to Planet Hollywood. Do you like this hotel? What? I know. We we fucking we love Planet Hollywood. Anyways, Chick-fil-A in Vegas. Does it need to be open on Sundays? Six thirty or seven? She's late. Guess what? Story of your life. Oh, it's worth the wait. All right, so Christina's done with her hair. We're at Wolf King Club, grab some pizza. Go back up to the room, change, and then meet one of my buddies to go out. Oh, pizza's here too. Cool. Thank you. Thank Very good, thank you. Oh! <laughs> 
was your dinner? I'm back in the hotel room. And we're old as shit. It is 8.52 in Las Vegas. And we're dragging ass. In all fairness, we're not necessarily old. We've been up since 6 o'clock in the morning, bathing kids, packing, cleaning our room, driving. We drove hours, four and a half hours, yeah. Stopped at a store. I'm just saying, like, walked back and forth. Five years ago, down that was the nothing. Strip, well, we didn't have kids five years ago. We went to dinner, came here. We literally haven't stopped. Okay, well, we've been nonstop all day. Oh, look, we're um, now we're a real old married couple. We got separate beds. <laughs> Gigi and Papa. So we're gonna go meet uh, Marco and his girlfriend downstairs eventually. Christina's gonna get ready. I might change. Still undecided. I'm for sure gonna have another diet coke before I go downstairs. Don't you yawn on me. So yeah, we're gonna push through because we're in Vegas and we're parents and we hardly have any alone time ever. But low key, that's kind of where I want to sleep. But yeah, but low key, that's kind of why I want to go to bed at nine o'clock right now. Was my soulmate. Alright, so we ended up not going out. Gotta shut it down. Wake up, go to the games tomorrow. And then hopefully we'll be able to go out and enjoy uh, Vegas for a little bit longer tomorrow. It's the next morning. We had to get up at 6 o'clock, get ready. Got two baseball games today. Taking a long trek to my car right now. It's gonna be a cold one. It's like freaking 36 degrees right now. So I got layers on. Alrighty, let's get it going. Large ship blows, spaceship, Raider spaceship. So close to the strip, that's cool. That is badass. Alright, back in the hotel room now after a long day of baseball. It is about 4 o'clock, so. Gonna get ready, haven't had lunch yet. We're gonna go downstairs, grab some lunch, uh, try to get tickets for a show, and then obviously go to the show, uh, get a nice little dinner, and see what the night has in store. So. Cheese steak. Fries look really good. Fries look yum 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 yum. That's a pretty good looking Caesar salad with crispy chicken. That garlic bread looks. Mm. Cold. Look, it's cold. Feel it. It's like literally out of the fridge. Cold. Out of the, straight out of the fridge. Ooh. Is it good? Really good. This has been made. The queen has spoke. Or spoken. Where are we going? Jabberwockies. Jabberwockies. Next time we have to watch Absent. Absent next time. I'm gonna leave the comments on for this one. So, um, if you ever been to a show in Vegas that we're missing out on, please comment below. And we've been to Fantasy. Humanity. Humanity. That's it, right? I think one more maybe. Yeah, we like those kinds of shows. Um, we're also going to like comedy or other shows. So we're going to Jabberwockies tonight. But yeah, if we're missing out. Let us know. Get some on the list. We also want to see the. Uh, what do I see? Michael Jackson. Cirque. Yeah, the Michael Jackson Cirque show at Mandalay Bay. Some other ones we've heard about. But, um, yeah. So if you know what we're missing out on, comment below. Well, you ditched me. It's different. It is not different. I had fun watching that show too, but what's the difference? Like, why can't a guy have fun at a guy show and a girl can have fun at a girl show? Different. No, it isn't. I should have bought my leopard shirt for this. Uh, no, just uh, one quick question. Uh, we, we obviously read about them. Uh, how many, like, how many guys go to this show? <laughs> Uh, we get our fair number of guys that go. They do have a tendency to be a little bit. They just kind of like sit back and watch and enjoy the show. They really 
don't seem to get into it like the ladies do. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I got, I got, I just didn't know if I was like the only guy on the ground. <laughs> Yeah, you know, she's seen enough shows that cater to men, so I'll, I have to suck it up one time. <laughs> awesome, thank you for your help. Hi, right, you too. Bye. My pleasure. Bye. She works at Chick fil A, she's in my pleasure. She, by the way, you guys, uh, she said I was a gem or something like that. She said, You gotta know how good you are to have me to go to Thunder for Run down under. Long story short, the last part of our little thing when we were at dinner or lunch at 5 o'clock, Christina said, made the decision to go to Jabwalkies. We pulled the eject cord on that. So instead, um, we're I'm gonna sure. go watch <laughs> Australian men dance. We're gonna go to Thunder Down Under. I'm sucking it up. You're excited, don't even lie. I'm not excited <laughs> at all. Cheerio. So good night. Cheers. Let's do it. All right, so we're off to Excalibur to watch the kangaroo guys. Oh They're, oh my god. Oh, they changed the guys. They changed the guys. Girls, nights out, and husband, night out. All right, hold on, Christina, I gotta ask you one question. Right? How excited do you see the first, a, a real six pack in person for the first time in a long time? <laughs> what? All the people waiting. All right, we're entering Thunderland. Are you, are you ready for it? Ready. All right, I'll tell you what I think you would like. I already told you who I like. Yeah, you like this guy. Yeah. We're outside Thunder Down Under right now. But I don't see one dude in line. Anyways, Christina's chugging her two white claws before we go. She's gonna have to keep her hands to herself until after the show. I'm definitely taking a one for the team here. Alright, so I've infiltrated the uh, Thunderland. I'm gonna let all the guys out there know how they're soon be wise behave at Thunder Down Under. And I'll report back a at the end. A lot better than a guy behaves at a strip club, I can tell you that. Um, I don't know about that. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. So there's our tomahawk steak. Nom, 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 nom. There we go, Tuscan potatoes. How was it? It tastes pretty good. Ooh, it's just dripping, dripping juices. What? Mm. Buzzkill. It was supposed to be like the fun thing that like, oh look, we're married and we can handle this and do this. But I'm not upset with you. I'm not upset with you. Alright, so Thunder from Down Under was a total disaster. I'll explain more when we get back to the room. So I was pretty heated about it. And it actually kind of sort of ruined the night-ish. Ruined it for me. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully there's a silver lining to tonight. I was under right after, but I was so hot. Alright, so we're gonna play a game right now. We're gonna play Guess the Bill. Before... Before... Tip. I'm gonna say like, 160. I'm gonna say 147. Alright, right there, give an MLI player's card and you get points for you. Awesome, thank you. All right, so you say what? 165. I say 147. Moment of truth. Boom! 146. What'd you say? 147. Yep. <laughs> when you cut your money and you get a nice little silver stripe. Boom! 
All right, so what do I get for winning? You can't keep me the bill. No, I don't. All right, so uh, we checked out the hotel this morning. It was a, uh, a long night. We got into our room probably around 12.31 o'clock. By the time we got settled in, had a couple hours of sleep, back at it. I'm gonna rant a little bit real quick. I didn't address this last night because I was super, like, bent out of shape about it. All right, so I did the little recon mission for all the men in the world. Went to Thunder Down Under. And let me tell you, I promise you, that girls at bachelorette parties behave 10 times worse than guys do at bachelor parties. Fact, I basically, I'm an expert on bachelorette parties now, I basically went to 30 bachelorette parties last night. All right, all at once. And those girls who got called on stage for this deal, let's just say I hope that their guys had a good time last night or whatever they did. Because, bold prediction, those marriages aren't going to work out. Oh my god. I don't know if that's going to be a little cynical. Those, those marriages aren't going to work out. I'm telling you that right now. Um, and like, Loki. I can't. I'm not going to eat it again. Alright, so uh, baseball games are over. It is like 4.30 on Sunday. Stop at the habit to eat real quick before you're on the road for the final time. The ETA is like four and a half to five hours on my own. Gonna eat. And now we're back to reality. There it is, the last supper. Last supper of the trip right there. Which one comes? Alright, we're gonna go ahead and close out the video right here. Hope you enjoyed the trip to Vegas with us. It was a fun experience for one of us. It was a fun yeah, it was a fun experience for one of us, that's for sure. But anyways, it was good to get some time uh, to relax with each other uh, after the baseball games and stuff like that. I had good dinner that one night. Christina had an enjoyable show. I had an experience I'll hopefully forget sometime soon. Um, <laughs> anyways, it was nice to get away. It was a low-key, mellow time. Super low-key, but very relaxing. Kind of sort of recharged, but um, could use one more day. Yeah, you could always use one, one more day of vacation. So uh, she's back to work tomorrow. I got a day off, so that means I'm in charge of the kids again. I think I'm in better shape than you. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna be super tired. <laughs> We're gonna get home at like 11 o'clock tonight, and then Jet's gonna be up like five hours later. So yeah. Anyways, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and we will talk to you guys soon. Peace.